What is up players, it's Warboss here up with this mug. Welcome to my wrap up video for the Iron Hands Commission that I have been working on for the past few weeks. I am very pleased with the way that they came out. I hope that you are as excited to see them in their finished form as I am. The tricky thing about Iron Hands or any kind of Space Marine chapter or Chaos Space Marine chapter or any kind of miniature that you paint that utilizes a predominantly black color scheme is that you want to pick out the details that will help the viewer, help the viewer's eye to differentiate different surfaces. And so uh, what I did was I used blue as my highlighting color and for the eye lens I used a very cold uh, ice, cold and like white ice blue. I also used my crystal sword technique to do any of the blades for them and I'm very happy with the way they came out. So the color scheme like I said was black. I used silver as a trim for all of the shoulder guards. I also used silver to paint any vents, exhaust ports, um, any panels or bits on the model that are like the joints here in, in between the armor where the, the hand meets the wrist, in the elbow joints, behind the knees like I showed you. Anywhere that I could, I tried to put in silver paint so that I could make silver the complementary color to the black. Along with that I used white and it's really easy to do with the insignia because I use the Iron Hands transfer sheet which was a limited release by Games Workshop and um, I'm really happy that I was able to pick up a couple from my local gaming store before they sold out so I have them in my in my toolkit. If you have Iron Hands, if you collect Iron Hands then uh, I, as far as I know it's the only way to get the Iron Hands symbol like this. I think Forge World also has an Iron Hands transfer sheet. I'm not sure if the Iron Hands insignia is included in the new Space Marine transfers or not. Unfortunately, I'm not sure about that. But if you get the Iron Hands transfer sheet, it does come with the clan, clan Raucon symbol, which is this cog with three little, what are those, pentagons in the center. So I'm, I am happy that I was able to get those. This is the only model that has an Imperial Fist or a Crimson Fist shoulder pad molded onto it, so I painted it up in white to give it the Iron Hands flavor. I also did all of the parchment seals, or parchment, um, yeah, parchment paper, purity seals rather, and uh, I painted those as normal and I drew on the lines of script with my Micron Arts pen. So here's a guy with a power fist, normal bolter. The client asked for these guys to be done at a war boss standard, which means that you get a base coat, a shade, and two progressive highlights. So um, I threw in the crystal sword technique on this guy instead of doing it as a straight iron sword because he also ordered a commander to be done in war master standard as well as uh, five vanguard veterans to be done at a war master standard. So even though these tactical marines and uh, the terminators I'm going to show you were to be done at a lower standard, I just thought I'd throw those in as a bonus for contracting me to do such a nice sized commission. And let's zoom in a little bit here. You've got a melted gun guy and you can see the cold blue for the eye lens really sets them apart and uh, makes them seem what in my opinion is what the iron hands are all about. Very cold, inhuman, methodical. I'm going to show you some terminators next. There are only four in this commission. Two of them are armed with power fists and two of them are armed with power swords. So the power swords again have the crystal crystal sword technique. Sorry, let's see if we can get a focus on our guy there. And um, let's see, purity seals, everything else, clan Raucon symbol. Uh, these ones, because they all have the molded shoulder pads, I was not able to put the Iron Hand symbol on it. But you might notice that there, I, I did pay special attention to the helmets because the helmets, if just painted in black with the blue eye lens, you wouldn't be able to see the almost like 
insect-like profile of the, the helmet, the front of the helmet, which I think is very important. So I wanted to go the extra mile and paint up a little bit more of a progressive highlight on that. So even though it took me more time than I allotted for the contract, I thought it was worth it and I'm glad I did it in the end. The next five models I'm going to show you are the Vanguard Veterans for the commission. These are the new Vanguard Veteran models. I suppose they're not new, they were released with the, the previous uh, Space Marines Codex and uh, I'm very happy with the way they turned out. I used my Micron Arts pen to write things like Ferris, Fury, Honor, do the, all of the purity seals. Um, I also used my fine tip brush to paint lines of script on where I could and to do these um, lightning claws. I'm really pleased with how these guys came out. The striking color scheme of the black with the cold blue highlights and the bright white of the insignia really shined through. Sometimes it was hard to get the insignia where you wanted it to go, like this transfer, I had to put it over this wing skull. It was a little bit of tricky maneuvering, um, especially with this to get the Clan Ralcon symbol above this golden wreath. Uh, it took a little finagling, but I'm really happy that it turned out as well as it did. This one says Wrath on the leg there. Here we've got a guy with a punchy fist and a shield, it says Legio. And <laughs> this one I tried to do like mathematical equations and formulae and uh, it didn't really turn out the way I thought it would in my head, but still I think it's interesting as a diagram of showing uh, the script written the way it is. I love the jump packs on these guys too. It's very, they're very cool looking. I use red, as a bright red as a spot color there, you can see, really happy with that. And here's the last guy, which was a con conversion of one of the Vanguard guys because he has this sword there. The sword is from the Emperor's Champion kit, and I'm about to show you where the rest of him went. This is the last part of the video I'm gonna show you. I'm very happy with this. It is a converted Space Marine Commander, and I'll talk a little bit more about him in a separate video because I think he deserves a video of his own. But uh, I'm really happy with the way he turned out, and I'm happy that you got to watch this video all the way up to here. So um, please leave a comment below, let me know what you think of the Iron Hands, of uh, painting black, of uh, anything you want. If um, you saw something you liked, and you want to know how I did it, please feel free to ask. And uh, thank you for watching and for supporting my channel. Latest players!